Hey, what is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. We got a full sound system we got to throw in the Forerunner today. I'm very excited for this. Atoto sent over one of their high-end, high-end radios. This is the S8. And then along with that, they sent over a backup camera. I'm very excited. This is one of their better backup cameras too, where it's got like the projected view from the top. So I'm excited to get all this set up. Now CT Sounds is also hooking it up on the speakers for the Forerunner. So we got a set of six and a halfs for the front and five, I think they're five and a quarter for the rear and then they set over a set of tweeters as well. I'm not gonna go through and do a whole amp system on this. This is, like I said, the fiance's forerunner, so she is not blaring music super loud. So I just wanted to get her something that sounds good. This is gonna be a lot better than stock, but it's not gonna take a ton of time with wiring up an amp and all that. These are just coax speakers. And then we got the tweeters that will go in the factory spot up in the little triangle at the front of the uh, front door window. Now the forerunner already has the Atoto head unit. It's one of their super low end models. I bought it like five years ago and Believe it or not, that thing still has been working without a single hiccup. It has been amazing. So I figured it is time for an upgrade. So we're gonna throw in this S8. This thing comes with everything, with Wi-Fi, with 4G, Bluetooth, all that good stuff. Let's get the Forerunner in here and get to work. And once we get this stuff in, then I'll kind of go over some of the specs with you guys. So call me lucky, but switching from the old radio to the new one, I don't have to do any wiring because it is the same brand and all their plugs are the same. And I already have the Bluetooth set up and mounted in the Forerunner. Now, I never did the microphone, so I am gonna mount that up now. We're gonna take the factory brackets off of the radio that was in the Forerunner and those screw on to the supplied brackets with the new S8. Now we have to screw on these separate brackets onto the S8 first and then screw on the Forerunner brackets to that. It's a little bit different with this slim head unit. You can see here it's just about two inches deep whereas the one we pulled out is about five. So you save about three inches of room behind the head unit for those tight areas. Well, this is probably the hardest part of this install is getting this rear uh, backup camera installed. Now, I want it to go right up here where the license plate goes. So it's been a little bit of a trick. I pull all the interior panels off. I still haven't run the wire, but I found some sort of issue here. So this wiring going to the tailgate back here, there's four wires that are broken and I didn't notice anything not working. I'm pretty sure the window works. So I'm not sure what these are for, but I'm gonna connect those back up. And I was originally going to try to run the wiring here through that grommet, but trying to get these through, I don't think I'm going to be able to. I don't think there's nearly enough room. So I don't know, I might just come alongside of it and zip tie it and use my own grommets on both sides and try it that way, just because I don't think there's gonna be enough room to get that through. But we are gonna run this all the way from up in here, I already got this wired through, so we're gonna connect it here. We gotta run down to the reverse light uh, wiring and tap into that for the reverse camera and then run this wire up in the headliner all the way up to the front.
All right, we got these front speakers down. Now this is a little bit different of a setup with the coax speakers and a separate tweeter. I did talk to CT Sounds about it and they said it will work just fine. There's no issues as long as you leave the noise filter in line on the tweeter. Now what that does is basically filters out all the lower notes and all the bass notes out of the tweeter because that will destroy a tweeter. All you want is the higher notes coming through the tweeter. So if you're gonna do a similar setup as me, definitely keep this noise filter in line on the tweeter now i want to go put the rear speakers on as you can see here they are not fitting i should have done more research i just took a quick glance at what people are doing and everybody said five and a quarter speakers fit now they don't fit they don't fit these factory housings so i'm just going to make my own housings out of this quarter inch hardboard i have it should work just fine there should be plenty of clearance between the speaker and the window. I already checked and measured all that out. So we're just gonna cut this out of this quarter inch board here and it should go together no problem. Alright guys, I got all four speakers in. Both of these rears are good to go. Let's go fire this thing up and see how it sounds. Well, first things first, these speakers sound absolutely amazing these things are super loud the bass is really really good which i was surprised with i haven't really messed a lot with the equalizer i just kind of set it up on just a preset and it sounds so good i am absolutely stoked with how it sounds i want to show you guys a few features on this radio that are really cool so this is the s8 ultra which is one of their highest model uh, head units and it has a few more benefits than well some of the lower ones so this has privacy protection it's got dual bluetooth and bluetooth tethering it's got a digital signal processor the high definition rear view input with virtual surround view which is that's what i have with the rear view camera which I, we will set up here in a second i'll show you guys that it's got a Q LED display. It's got hand gesture recognition, which I'll show you in a second. CarPlay, Android Audio, and a built-in 4G LTE cellular modem. So just scrolling through the apps here, you can see it's got a, a ton of stuff already loaded up. We got Maps, we got Google. There's the hand gesture, which I'll show you. You can get right on the internet from it. Um, it's got Bluetooth music, Bluetooth. You can hook up CarLink with it scroll over it's already got pandora the play store and then what's really cool is it already comes with the obd torque app so all you got to do is get the plug into your obd and you can check all your codes on here do a ton of stuff steering wheel setup youtube everything is on here oh here's a rear camera if you want to manually go on the rear cam you can see right there it's already set up looking good and this is a wide angle so that's kind of why it looks like a little bit of a bubble you can see the forerunner right now is about three feet from this back door and I can see both walls of the shop. You can see my welder over there, and that's my key rack, and the door is right there. So that is a sweet camera. There's so much visibility with this camera. 
Now going back, you can see the rest of the stuff, navigation, music, messaging, TPMS. You can hook up your TPMS sensors on to the radio and it'll tell you when you got a low tire here. But what I want to show you guys is kind of cool this gesture. So you can turn these on, move left, you click that and you can pick any of these uh, functions basically. So if you want rear camera, we'll say we'll do that. Then we'll go home and then we'll just swipe and you can see rear camera comes up so that is pretty cool and there's a ton of different stuff that you can set up on this so you can also do a front cam volume up volume down volume off and then like power off you can skip to the next track you can go to music so if you select music there and go home here swipe it and it automatically brings you to your music so that is a really really cool feature right there As you can see, YouTube is working, so on your road trips, you can uh, show all your friends and your family all my videos. Imagine that. All right, guys, so you can see so far, I am absolutely loving this radio. Now, we do have to uh, calibrate the surround sound uh, camera for the rear. So there's a big mat we have to spread out behind the Forerunner, and then we have to calibrate the camera that way. And then tomorrow, it's already dark out, so tomorrow we'll get out here and get outside, and I'll show you that overhead view. It's really cool. All right, we're gonna do our calibration. So you can see we got our calibration mat set out here. To get into the settings, you just follow the book, but you click six times over here, and then one in the middle, and then we'll have two vehicle parameters. So you saw me measure the forerunner. So we got the put in the length and the width here. I am 4,700 here, and 1,700. 79 right there and then we'll just go up to calibration now last time I did this I took a few tries just to get the mat in the right spot and everything but we'll see what it does looks like it says calibration succeed All right, we got this reverse camera dialed in. So you can see right now the top up here is black. That's because how this camera works is as you back up, it gathers that information and then it portrays an overhead view. So if you can see my car over here, when we back up, it'll slowly come into view once that once the left camera kind of recognizes everything. So you can see it there coming into view right on the right of the car so you can see it's out of the view here but you can still see the bumper basically of the car there so it's definitely a nice upgrade to have this overhead view kind of see what you can't see out of the regular uh, rear view camera well guys i am very very happy with how those speakers sound and the head unit they both work very very well those speakers especially for not being amped or anything just coaxial speakers, they sound really, really good. They got really good bass, they're really loud, they're clear, they're really nice speakers for honestly the price of them. If you guys wanna check out any of this stuff, the head unit or the speakers, the tweeters, I'll have everything linked down in the description box like always. And one thing about those tweeters is they come with so many different mounts. I was able to use one of the mount buckets and bolt it or screw it right onto the factory mount for the 4Runner bolt them right in and I didn't have to do any modifications. The only really modification I had to do was build that adapter plate for the rear speakers just because we went to a bigger speaker. So you can buy, I'll actually link a, an adapter plate down below. There's companies that actually make those adapter plates. I just wasn't aware. I figured they would fit like factory. So I'll have everything linked down below for you guys. Well, that's it guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Why don't you go smash that thumbs up button, comment, subscribe. We'll see you in the next one.